चलिए जी बहुत शुक्रिया अस्सलाम वालेकुम आज का जो टॉपिक है वो है चैलेंजेस ऑफ इनकॉपरेटिंग ड्रोन्स इन एग्रीकल्चर द फॉर्मेट इज बेसिकली 30 मिनट्स ऑफ प्रेजेंटेशन फॉलोड बाय 30 मिनट्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर्स तो दिस इज हाउ वी विल प्रोसीड कोई वो नहीं है जिस तरह से भी सवाल और अगर प्रेजेंटेशन उर्दू या इंग्लिश जिस भी मीडियम में रखना चाहें आपकी अपनी चॉइस है जो चार प्रेजेंटर्स हैं आज राई मुजफ्फर जिनका पीएचडी भी ड्रोन टेक्नोलॉजी के साथ ही है और काफी आठ नौ साल इन्होंने इसमें काम किया अब उनका एरिया ऑफ डोमेन चेंज हो गया है तो खैर एनी वे टॉक अबाउट ड्रोन नवीद ताहिर साहब इज विद एरिड एग्रीकल्चर यूनिवर्सिटी इन इन इस्लामाबाद राहुल पिंडी वैद रहमान रन द स्मॉल स्टार्टअप ड्रोन स्टार्टअप सो ही टॉक अबाउट द बिजनेस परस्पेक्टिव और जो लास्ट में है वो शेरा ब्रोई साहब क्योंकि हम लोग बहुत ज्यादा हमेशा टेक्नोलॉजी और चीजों के बारे से बात करते हैं लेकिन हम ये लिंकेजेस भूल जाते हैं कि जिस लास्ट माइल पे जिसको आखिर में फायदा होना है उसका क्या परस्पेक्टिव है तो इसलिए कोशिश ये होती है कि सारों का परस्पेक्टिव को जोड़ के एक ओपिनियन लिया जा सके तो एनी वे रूल ऑफ द एंगेजमेंट आर के जो प्रेजेंटर्स है वो प्रेजेंट करेंगे उस वक्त उनका वीडियो ऑन रहेगा बाकी उनका ऑफ रहेगा सवाल अगर किसी का है तो चैट विंडो के अंदर पूछा जा सकता है और जब आखिर में जब सेशन खत्म हो जाएगा तो जब थर्टी मिनट पे सेशन खत्म हो जाएगा उसके बाद हम लोग सबके जो प्रेजेंट जो चार प्रेजेंटर्स है उनकी वीडियो ऑन हो जाएंगी ताकि वो पीपल कैन आस्क देम द क्वेश्चंस अबाउट व्हाट व्हाटएवर दे नीड टू हैव आंसर्ड राइट तो इसमें अगर किसी का कोई क्वेश्चन ना हो तो मेरा ख्याल है आई विल इनवाइट राही मुजफ्फर एंड आई विल आस्क एवरीबॉडी एल्स टू टर्न ऑफ द वीडियोस और फिर हम इंशाल्लाह यहां से स्टार्ट करते हैं थैंक यू जी ओवर टू यू राही थैंक यू आई नीड टू शेयर जी सर आई कैन नॉट शेयर अच्छा एक मिनट यू शुड बी एबल टू शेयर ओके आई नीड टू स्टॉप शेयरिंग देर यू सो आई टॉक अबाउट ड्रोन्स और सिविल एप्लीकेशन हाउ दे आर यूज इट्स बेन अ वाइल्ड लाइक अटेड ऑफ सो दैट द ड्रोन्स हैव बीन यूज फॉर सिविल एप्लीकेशन देर यूज मोस्टली फॉर मिलिट्री पर्पजेस and the synonyms of drones are unmanned aerial vehicles or aerial robots so in terms of applications uh they are used in aerial mapping disaster management surveillance monitoring event coverage and agriculture and health you know these are the two uh, very new uh, i would say um, applications but are growing very fastly uh, in this aspect we categorized these uh, applications into four domains we call them search and rescue coverage transportation and construction and we categorize based on the number of nodes that could be required for such a uh, for such an application and the distance that it, that the drone can travel we actually covered this in a survey paper for uh, in terms of communications aspects now the types of drones there are different types of drones which we call multi uh, router drones so you have multiple routers fixed wing drones which do not have basically such multiple routers uh, single uh, router helicopters Uh, like helicopters but it is difficult to maneuver them and fixed wing uh, hybrid vertical takeoff and landing so these uh, this is a hybrid of the uh, fixed wing and multi router the uh, with fixed wings you can have more endurance so higher flight time uh, but the problem is the take uh, takeoff and landing and therefore hybrid or multi router drones are more preferable and since i talked about the flight time and payload Uh, there are different uh, drones that provide different flight times and payload uh, so depending on the application which drone you want to use and which uh, flight time you want to have for that application there are multiple options available and in this pic so i depict different pictures where like pelican drones that are for quad routers or now with the drone taxis as you can see in this bottom uh, picture where there are 24 routers that are used uh, for such a taxis so it depends on the application what kind of drone that you want to use and how much endurance that you need as of the components the drones uh, a drone can be divided into let's say 10 components in the hardware perspective which is the frame the propellers motors electronic speed controllers battery uh, the computer aided and flight controller gps and compass cameras sensors depending on the application that you need uh, radio units for communication and remote control for maneuvering of the drone and then also based on the application you define the software requirements 
So this would be dependent on uh, the type of application that you may use the thing for. In terms of agriculture, the, there are different applications such as uh, sowing, which could be through sprinkling or shooting of seeds, uh, pesticide site spraying, or monitoring of growth or estimating the yield, and identifying problems in the yield, or the health of uh, identifying the health of the crops, and also managing irrigation and minimizing uh, soil erosion. And at the end, you can also use them for har harvesting, as you can see in this image, that the, the drone is plucking up the, the fruit. As an example, I uh, we I worked on in a forest climate project, which is uh, kind of close to agriculture, where the idea was to identify the tree diameter, position of the trees, and timber volume. And what, well, what I did is the design a vision based navigation algorithm, which was the, the challenge was to not to use a GPS because under the canopy, the GPS signals are, are not available. And so, as you see in the picture, we tested this uh, in a forest area where the drone uh, actually navigated through the trees. Um, and we used some processing units such as enthalpy real sense and ultra chipsets for computation. And just to give a small example, this um, how I did it is this is a point cloud that the drone, so the moving object is a drone and the high tower-like objects, these are the trees. And the drone basically avoids the trees and navigates between the forest. And uh, so as, as I said, it, there was no GPS and the idea was that it should navigate uh, autonomously using the vision system. Uh, and lastly, I just presented the, what are the current challenges. So the challenges of the drones now are to use the drones as a swarm in which you can, you should use coordination or collaboration. So coordination is that each drone can have its own task, but is coordinating with other drones. And collaboration is like uh, multiple drones use a collaborative effort such as lifting of an object. And then endurance, which means weather conditions, um, increasing flight time and payload. And then depending on the application we may face the future. So that's the end of my talk. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Raiv. And I'm sure there's a lot of things to share as well, but we will get into all of those things a bit afterwards. Uh, so next we can if, uh, please have uh, Navita Tahir uh, present and uh, please turn on your video as well. Can you see my presentation? Yes, sir. Please go ahead. Uh, I'm Muhammad Nuitar and I'm assistant professor. I'm working uh, in the University of Agriculture, Alpindi. Uh, can you hear me? Absolutely, ji. Please. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so um, my presentation have um, uh, three main part. One is uh, introduction to the UAV and importance, and second is uh, international collaboration and uh, and the activity what we are doing in Pakistan. So just start, of course, UAV is uh, uh, commonly known as aerial uh, unmanned aerial vehicle. So the, the use of the UAV is not very new. So uh, it, um, it had been started in 1903, uh, uh, so, so that. So, and, uh, but most of the UAV application uh, in the military, but um, uh, in 1970 or 80s, uh, the NASA has actually started the uh, application of drone or UAV uh, in a civilian application. So uh, just like uh, Rahib has uh, also mentioned different type of the UAV, uh, just like fixing rotary and blimp, hybrid and many others. So uh, my uh, talk mainly is about precision agriculture aviation. So if just uh, a go for precision agriculture aviation in the world, and um, especially uh, if you see uh, nowadays the world UAV economic contribution over $100 billion and will up to uh, $1,400 billion in the next 10 years. Uh, and from uh, 2015 to 20, uh, 2025, UV application in the civilian area uh, will up uh, $821 billion. Among 80% come from mainly from a UAV application in agriculture. So it's a, a huge contribution of UV in agriculture. So. Uh, uh, one of the review from the MIT uh, in 2014, so uh, the UAV agriculture application is, uh, especially the um, breakthrough of science and technology, the, the uh, use of UAV in agriculture is on the top now. 
Uh, so this is one of the case study uh, evaluation of multispectral UAV for real-time estimation of chlorophyll content of citric orchard uh, court moment study in Pakistan. So I will go very quickly. Uh, this is a view uh, EB drone is a fixed screen uh, with, uh, with multispectral camera. Uh, so and then we have uh, image of the whole area and then we find the orchard tree and then we use some different kind of the vegetation indices. Uh, uh, to uh, uh, to know that uh, which of the plants are healthy one and uh, that are weaker one. Uh, so this is a different kind of thing that we have applied and these are the results. So the, and it proved that the use of the UV is um, a very robust, uh, especially for estimation of the chlorophyll and plant health. So uh, second, uh, another part of my presentation is international collaboration. So we are already working uh, with uh, uh, China, uh, um, South China Agricultural University, especially uh, with the uh, National Center of International Collaboration Research on Precision Agricultural Aviation Pesticide Spring Technology, uh, South China Agricultural University. So this is proposed our team work. So this is some of the work that uh, has been um, started in 2017. So uh, this is the team lead, uh, Professor Dr. Yupin Lang, and that is the leader of the uh, group in China. Uh, so this is our some of the, this is one of the wind, uh, biggest wind tunnel China in China for research on a UAV application. Uh, so this is uh, some picture from, uh, so uh, Pakistan has also one of the sub center in, in University of Agriculture, if you see, uh, 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 this center has five uh, sub-international center, USA, Australia, Canada, UK, and Pakistan is also one of them. Um, so this is uh, uh, because I'm part of the World Drone Congress, so this is some uh, of the uh, highlights of the World Drone Expo and uh, in Shenzhen in China in 2019, and also visit to some of the base of this center, uh, just like uh, in uh, Guangzhou. Uh, this is uh, an young uh, 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 young uh, company. This is drone for UV separating technology. So uh, this is another part is the activities about uh, um, at uh, at uh, a peer uh, peer agriculture university. So we have also uh, conducted one international seminar on precision agriculture aviation uh, pesticide spraying uh, technology uh, in January uh, 2019. Uh, so this is uh, our group photo. Uh, this is about some fuel activity. We have also a demonstration of the uh, spring technology uh, at the field for different crops. So this is also use of uh, uh, DJ Phantom uh, 4 uh, for uh, ground monitoring uh, uh, last year. So this is uh, our recent application. So now I will come on the issues and challenges, especially for the UAV application in Pakistan. Uh, some of the issues that ha already have UAV technologies um, are just like battery timing, uh, if you are using, so its timing is very limited. Uh, uh, and then is a, a high temperature, especially in summer season, many part of the, uh, some part of Pakistan is uh, temperature is go above uh, 50 degrees centigrade. So the use of uh, this technology is really very challenging, and the uh, other is a high cost, uh, um, high cost uh, of these technologies, and also the training uh, in this uh, area is the biggest uh, hindrance for adoption of this technology. Then is um, a precision agriculture technology adoption is still uh, in a beginning in Pakistan, and uh, then is policy regarding use of drone allow limited use. So this is also needs to be ref uh, reframed for the use of uh, this policy and then last one is uh, a government is um, recently has uh, took very um, aggressive initiative on the uh, drone especially for the local production and also as well as import policy but this uh, policy is still is not finalized uh, so these are the biggest challenges and the issue that is still uh, the use of this technology uh, in pakistan uh, uh, maybe is a need to be uh, if the policy is finalized, maybe this, uh, uh, we can uh, use this technology in a better way. Uh, thank you very much. This is all from my side. Thank you, uh, Navid, uh, for covering that topic. Uh, if 
you can uh, please stop presenting and then we can have Ubaidur Rahman. Ubaidur Rahman? Yeah, uh, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, so just to you know, share my screen. Actually, pardon me for uh, some noise in the background. Uh, so I believe you are traveling, so it's all good. And I, I believe yeah, you are in a, yeah, in a yeah, roadside actually, hotel, so, <laughs> <laughs> so that's just okay. Yeah, let me just let me just share my screen with you. Uh, sure. Uh, So uh, just to introduce myself, my name is Ubaidur uh, Rahman Alvi, and basically uh, my startup name is Dynamics uh, Pakistan. And uh, we are working on the indigenous manufacturing and uh, providing some services or in the uh, agriculture related drones. And uh, regarding the today's discussion, I will be focusing on business sense for drone companies for doing uh, drone related businesses in Pakistan. Just to give you a, a brief intro of what uh, we are doing. This is our mission statement that we are working uh, for the optimum solutions in the industry and agriculture sector through innovation and technology. And uh, recently we have also uh, been working on the indigenous drone specifically for this uh, agriculture application. So basically our value proposition is to provide low spraying on crops to indigenous services and manufacturing of drones in Pakistan team members, basically myself, I'm a mechanical engineer from NAD, then uh, uh, one of my fellows, he's uh, Jamshed Rastur, he's the chief technical officer, and uh, then Vajiha Javed, she is uh, working in AI, and she's a graduate from NAS, and she's uh, working as software and AI engineer uh, in our team. So, uh, problem statement about our startup was that we uh, found that in Pakistan, we have, uh, you know, seen some conventional techniques being followed by the farmers uh, that they are doing some manual spraying in the in the fields and also uh, that we, we we think that it is one of the uh, non inefficient time consuming and unhealthiest way of doing pesticide spraying uh but i think your uh, video is uh, stuck uh, can can folks hear a bit? No. No, no. Interesting. We'll just give. Uh, I'll just uh, pause the recording here. Uh, just to... okay. Uh, so. Uh, no, so I how think... drones are being used for the agriculture? Uh, they are getting back. Uh, Assalamualaikum. My name is Sharia Brohi, and uh, I represent Brohi Farms. Uh, first of all, thank you very much for inviting me over as a progressive farmer to come and speak on the <clears throat> on this uh, for this fraternity which is uh, farmers and agriculturists so what i would be talking about are the challenges and the opportunities uh, while using drone technology so when we come to uh, to challenges uh, it costs an arm and length it in the high uh, expensive technology hai theek hai ji और उसकी वजह यह है कि इसमें जो है वो सिर्फ और सिर्फ कॉस्ट का एक इशू नहीं है चैलेंजेस में एक कॉस्ट नहीं है आ, सिर्फ नहीं है चैलेंजेस में कॉस्ट का एक वो नहीं है आप देख लें इसमें लीगल रिस्ट्रिक्शन भी बहुत ज्यादा है और लाइसेंसिंग इश्यूज हैं गवर्नमेंट की तरफ से अब तक जो है वो कोई इस पे आ, कोई लॉ अब तक पास नहीं हुआ है जिसकी वजह से जो है वो सिविल एविएशन अथॉरिटी इस पे कुछ आपको जो है क्लियर गोहेड दे सके Uh, हमारे प्राइम मिनिस्टर साहब की तरफ से मार्च में एक uh, बयान आया था इसके ऊपर कि दे आर सेटिंग अप सिविल ड्रोन एसोसिएशन और और इन अथॉरिटी सॉर्ट ऑफ थिंग जस्ट लाइक सी डबल ए जो इसके ऊपर जो है ना अब काम करेगी और वो सब जो है अपना मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एविएशन को रिपोर्ट करेगा देन सेकंड चैलेंज इसमें थर्ड चैलेंज जो आता है सिस्टम डिप्लॉयमेंट एंड इंटीग्रेशन का आता है 
हमारे फार्मर्स जो है ना वो इतने एजुकेटेड नहीं होते जो इसको जो है ना अपने ओन पर जो है ना वो सिस्टम को डिप्लॉय अगर डिप्लॉय भी करके दे दें तो दे हैव टू कीप दम अपडेटेड विद द टेक्नोलॉजी एंड विद द एडवांसेस इन द इन द इनोवेटिव सिस्टम सो एक ये इशू भी आता है इसमें फिर उसमें बिल्कुल एक लिमिटेड नॉलेज हो जाती है जो भी ड्रोन ऑपरेट कर रहा होता है हमारा फॉर एग्जाम्पल हमारे पास अगर मैं अपनी फॉर एग्जाम्पल जमीनों के लिए एक अदद बंदा रखता हूँ तो उसको जो है मुझे कम्प्लीटली ट्रेन करवाना पड़ेगा उस कंपनी से जो बेसिकली ड्रोन ऑपरेट जो जिससे भी मैं ड्रोन की टेक्नोलॉजी लूंगा इन दिस के फॉर एग्जाम्पल ड्रोनोमिक्स से अगर मैं लेता हूँ तो ड्रोनोमिक्स हैज टू ट्रेन माई पीपल फॉर रनिंग द शो ऑन देयर ओन बिकॉज एवरी टाइम the vendor cannot come and do the job so is uh, waqt jo hai wo ek ye bahut bada challenge hai uske baad jo sabse zyada jo badi problem aati hai wo aati hai privacy encroachment fee aise hote hain wo theek hai ji for example main jo hai for example agar koi bhi cheez kar raha hu theek hai ji to jis tarah ke hamare apna ye log hain hamare jis tarah ek ek bahut hi conservative mind wale log hote hain jo hamare dehati ilake mein rehte hain अगर ड्रोन किसी के भी घर के ऊपर से गुजर रहा है या कुछ भी है तो उनको ये लगता है कि जी कोई हमें चेकआउट कर रहा है कोई हमारे ऊपर नजर रख रहा है तो ये एक प्रेविसी वाला इशू भी जो है ना एक चैलेंज है जो कि बहुत ज्यादा जो है ना इसमें फेस हो सकता है क्योंकि अभी तो एक टेक्नोलॉजी बहुत ही ज्यादा इन्फ्लुंसी में है तो इस पर इतना ज्यादा इस पर काम नहीं हुआ लेकिन ये भी एक जो है ना इसमें ये चीज आएगी उसके बाद अगर जहां हम बात करते हैं अपना लीगल रेस्ट्रिक्शन एंड लाइसेंसिंग की तो बेसिकली जब ये नहीं आई है तो हम एक बेसिक काम कर सकते हैं कि हम रूल ऑफ थम पे ले चले से ठीक है जी अवॉइड फ्लाइंग विद इन फाइव माइल्स ऑफ एन एयरपोर्ट फॉर एग्जांपल नवाबशाह हैज एन एयरबेस लाइक आई एम फ्रॉम नवाबशाह नवाबशाह हैज एन एयरबेस तो मुझे इस चीज का ख्याल रखना होगा कि मैं एयरपोर्ट से या एयरबेस से एक सर्टन फासले पर जो है ना इसको ऑपरेट करूँ ऑलवेज कीप द ड्रॉइंग विद इन द विजुअल लाइन ऑफ साइट एलओ में जो है ना हमेशा एक करीब होना चाहिए उसके बाद डिस्टेंसेज जो है इसमें वो अपना मैटर्स अ लॉट एंड एक सर्टन स्पीड पे हमें जो है ना वो अपना एग्रीकल्चर ड्रोन को जो है ना अपनी सर्विस को हमें जो है वो करना चाहिए ठीक है ड्रोन वी टोटली अग्री कि एक सर्टन स्पीड पर काम करता है जो काम चार घंटे का होता है जो स्पे में वो ड्रोन काम जो है 15 टू 20 मिनट्स या मैक्स 30 मिनट्स में कर देता है लेकिन अगेन उसको ऑपरेशनली ऑपरेशन के हवाले से भी जो है ना वो हमको एक सर्टन स्पीड पर ही रखना पड़ेगा उसके बाद जो है ये चीज है कि डायरेक्टली लोगों के ऊपर जो है इस चीज को नहीं होना चाहिए बेसिकली जो इसके रूल ऑफ थम वाली चीजें हैं ये वो डायरेक्टली जो है ना वो लोगों के सर पे नहीं होना चाहिए क्योंकि इट्स एन एक्सपेंसिव थिंग ठीक है जी फॉर एग्जांपल किसी को समझ भी नहीं आ और वो उठाकर उसको पत्थर मार दे ठीक है जी एक एक महंगी चीज है लेंस में प्रॉब्लम हो जाए कोई भी पार्ट पे प्रॉब्लम हो जाए ठीक है जी सो so, ये वाले इसके सर्टन जो है ना वो इशूज है तो एक सर्टन इसको एक तरीके से वो करना है उसके बाद जो है वो आपके मूविंग व्हीकल्स पे जो है ना डू नॉट फ्लाई फ्रॉम अ मूविंग व्हीकल अनलेस इन अ स्पेशली पॉपुलेटेड एरिया ठीक है जी एक तितर बितर हो चीजें बिल्कुल अलग अलग हो आपका कुछ भी जो है वो लोग बहुत ज्यादा नहीं हो आप उसमें तो कर सकते हो लेकिन एक बहुत ज्यादा जहां मतलब लोग काम कर रहे हो ठीक है जी उनके ऊपर से ड्रोन के जो है ना वो बेसिकली आप वो चीजें नहीं कर सकते नाउ अगेन वेन वी कम्स टू लीगल एक्शन ठीक है जी लाइसेंसिंग पे हम बात करते हैं तो पंजाब के लिए जो है वो एक चीज आ चुकी है जो अपना इसके बारे में मुझे इन्फॉर्मेशन है आप एग्रीकल्चर एक्सटेंशन डायरेक्टोरेट में इसके यूजेज के लिए इसके एनओसी लेने के लिए परमिशन लेने के लिए यू कैन सबमिट एन एप्लीकेशन फॉर रनिंग द शो एंड वो जो आपके जो डिपार्टमेंट होगा जो ये एग्रीकल्चर एक्सटेंशन डिपार्टमेंट है ये स्क्रूटनी करेगा वेदर जिधर के लिए आप यूज करना चाह रहे हैं वो इसके पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से स्क्रूटनी करेगा और आपकी डॉक्यूमेंटेशन देखेगा और आपका एरिया पूरा चेक करेगा कि वेदर आप किस चीज के लिए कर रहे हैं देन उसके बाद जो है उसके बाद जो है आपके डॉक्यूमेंट्स जो है दीज विल गो टू द डीपीओ एंड द डीसी ऑफिस ठीक है जी सारी बात है एक ऐसी चीज है जो मतलब थोड़ा सा सिक्योरिटी थ्रेट भी हो सकता है जैसे मैंने पहले बात की कि अपना प्रेविसी इशू भी है तो उस हिसाब से जो है एक ऐसी चीज एक अनमैंड व्हीकल अगर आपके ऊपर से एयर व्हीकल आपके ऊपर से गुजरा है तो उसको एक सिक्योरिटी चेक देने के लिए जो है वो आपको डीसी एंड डीपी ऑफिस से भी आपको क्लियरेंस लेनी पड़ेगी एंड वंस एवरी इज डन उसके बाद जो है एक आपको प्रोसीजर आपको जो है वो एक अदर अलाउ होगा बिल्कुल एक परमिशन मिलेगी लेटर मिलेगा ये उड़ाने का और एट टाइम्स आपके पास जो है एक अदर हो सकता है कि गवर्नमेंट आपका एक पुलिस का सफाई भी वगैरह भी दिया जाए डोन ऑपरेटर के साथ इसको ऑपरेट करने के लिए कहीं कोई इलीगल चीज तो इससे नहीं हो रही ठीक है जी तो ये बेसिकली इसके जो है वो 
एनओसीज एंड परमिशन की चीजें जो इस वक्त सिर्फ पंजाब में जो पंजाब गवर्नमेंट ने अलाउ किया हुआ है सिंध गवर्नमेंट में और बलुस्तान गवर्नमेंट में इसके ऊपर अभी डिस्कशन चल रही है आई हैड अ वर्ड विद वन ऑफ द डायरेक्टर्स एट एग्रीकल्चर एक्सटेंशन डिपार्टमेंट एंड something for the same has been put up to the cm for this uh, for allowing people to use this use this technology now when we come to the opportunities to isme ye hai ki since it is a very uh, expensive uh, technology theek hai jaise shuru mein jo hai wo laser leveling ki jab device aayi thi laser leveler aaya tha to use bhi jo hai na ek logo ko samajh mein aane mein time laga tha theek hai ji ab ye ek एक्सपेंसिव सी डिवाइस है जो आपका जो है बहुत सारे ऑपरेशन कॉस्ट बचा सकती है लेकिन अगेन जो आपके ड्रोन वेंडर्स हैं दे शुड कम एंड डेमोन्स्ट्रेट दिस फॉर कन्वेंशनल क्रॉप्स दैट इज व्हीट कॉटन शुगर केन एंड एज वेल एज ऑर्चिड्स के बेसिकली ये एक ऑर्चिड को किस तरह अपना स्प्रे करेगा उसकी जिस तरह की मैपिंग करते हैं उसकी जो है आपकी जितनी भी उसके यूजेजेस हैं आपकी जो है वो सॉइल असेसमेंट हो गई सॉइल एनालिसिस हो गई आपकी जो है वो लाइफ स्टॉक गेजिंग एंड ट्रैकिंग लाइफ स्टॉक हो गया ये सारी सारी चीजों में जिस तरह काम करते हैं इसका एक डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन देना जो है ना इट इज एन एक्सट्रीमली इम्पोर्टेंट थिंग बिकॉज विदाउट बिकॉज सींग इज बिलीविंग ठीक है जी जब तक देखेंगे नहीं तब तक किसी को जो ना नो बडी वुड बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड इट दैट हाउ इट वर्क ठीक है जी वंस दिस इज दिस इज डन देन गुड फार्मर समन एक एक बड़ा जमींदार ही इसका पायलट प्रोजेक्ट इनिशियली जो है ना किसी कंपनी के साथ मिलकर कर सकता है किसी वेंडर के साथ मिलकर कर सकता है एंड लोगों को आके वो विजिट कराना भी बहुत जरूरी है कि दिस इज हाउ इट इज बीइंग डन ठीक है जी सो so, uh, ये वाली जो चीजें हैं अपॉर्चुनिटीज डेफिनेटली हैं लेकिन उसके ऊपर जो है वो एक uh, आपका फार्मर फर्टर्निटी है एग्रीकल्चर फर्टर्निटी के साथ मिलकर जो है वो इनको काम करना पड़ेगा ठीक है जी वंस दिस इज डन उसके बाद जो है वो आपको डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन नेटवर्क ठीक है जी uh vendors have to uh, train people in different cities for this thing to how for, how to run the show how to run this uh, whole operation to uske liye ek certain educated aadmi chahiye hoga jo exactly drone ko operate kar sake uski jo hai apna software pe dhyan rakh sake ye sari cheeze lekin ye hoga ki ji aapne jo hai wo for example if i talk about sin theek hai ji for example let's say ke uh, थिंकिंग हाइपोथेटिकली कि हमें जो है वो परमिशन जो है वो सिंध गवर्नमेंट जिस तरह पंजाब गवर्नमेंट ने किया है सिंध गवर्नमेंट ने दे दिया तो आपने सिंध को जो है वो तीन हिस्सों में डिवाइड किया साउथ वन साउथ टू साउथ थ्री और उसके बाद आपने डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन नेटवर्क उस हिसाब से बनाया एन एन एजुकेटेड कंपनी या डिस्ट्रीब्यूटर ठीक है जी हु शुड हैव दिस टेक्निकल नॉलेज ऑफ हाउ दिस थिंग्स ऑपरेट ठीक है जी उसके बाद जो है ना वो इस चीज को जो है ना अपना डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन नेटवर्क वो कर सकते हैं क्योंकि वेंडर कैन नॉट कम एवरी टाइम to uh, low lying far away areas to come and check the problem so ye wali cheeze hain and uh, that is all from my side thank you so much uh, shayar sab uh, that was a uh, good insight also fir abhi baad mein sawal bhi puchte hain aapse abhi just to keep the things moving uh, aapke taraf abhi connectivity uh, kaisi hai ubaid uh, aap agar kahe to i can uh, uh, i hope that uh, now i am the introduction yeah so uh, well uh, my name is ubaid albi and basically uh, today's topic was uh, that uh, uh, my topic was to discuss about the business sense for drone companies in order to do business related uh, activities in pakistan uh, so uh, myself uh, basically just to uh, introduce myself my name is ubaid albi and i am uh, a mechanical engineer and uh, i am working on the indigenous manufacturing of uh, drone and also uh, planning to provide services we have started off with a pilot project uh, of providing some drone related services to the uh, farmers so this is my team jamshed uh, uh, dastoor he is a chief technical uh, officer cto and he is an electronics engineer from nad university then vadia javed she is a ai expert and she is also uh, A software uh, engineer from NAS. So, uh, regarding the problem statement, uh, why we started off with the dynamics? That uh, presently we understand that farmers they are using some inefficient techniques and time-consuming and unhealthy pesticide and crops planning techniques. So, the solution uh, we are proposing is to equip the farmers with reliable, efficient, and low-cost uh, healthier pesticides uh, through uh, these uh, this uh, autonomous drones. and uh, both 
options are we are we are going to provide to them one is the indigenously manufactured low cost drone and also the uh, the uh, already uh, the oem and off the shelf uh, available drones just to move quickly with the applications uh, drones they have been in the market for quite long uh, as discussed by the panel expert but recently we have seen a, a very uh, abrupt I think we lost your audio there. <clears throat> there on the ring. Yeah. Hello. Yes, please continue. Okay. So, uh, uh, well, uh, the drones, since it, it is a flying machine, we can equip it with different type of sensors, with different type of payloads, and based on that, we can get different applications from them. So one of them uh, is that we can actually get uh, an infrared uh, imagery uh, or RGB. imagery and through normalized difference vision color band of light and it gives them a very good perspective at that what is the health and what is the current status of their farms and what is what is their progress okay and similarly they are used for crop dusting and spraying uh, they are widely being used uh, i will discuss it later also then irrigation you know uh, which is widely used in agriculture uh, irrigation okay so uh, yeah irrigation management and then the livestock monitoring this is one of the latest Uh, areas where you know right now uh, using ai techniques to uh, do the livestock so an increase in yield of uh, like up to 18 to 20% if we are using drones uh, this is one of the studies done uh, like two years back and now uh, we have seen some significant uh, significant progress uh, of increased yields by good planning optimum planning and also Through, through the use of uh, this uh, pesticide saves a lot of a lot of time and uh, it gives uh, the farmer the edge to you know uh, save on not only on the time but also the wastage of the pesticides uh, and definitely uh, it gives you a better uh, planning the since we are using drone and we can also uh, replace the payload as i have mentioned to different payloads we can actually maps uh, for better crop planning and land management specifically for the spring application this is just a comparative for uh, you uh, for everyone that if we compare uh, the different um, uh, different uh, parameters uh, like like spring speed spring precision applicability cost labor intensity we can see that different type of technique give you a uh, different view Uh, like the plus is the pro and negative is the con, uh, con. So if you see the drones uh, specifically, they are uh, very very excellent choice in terms of using them for uh, for spring because they are they are fast, they are easily deployable, they have lower they have lower cost as compared to the backpacks and tractors and manned aircraft uh, methods, and they are also less labor intensive. so this is one of the uh, one of the areas where we can see this benefit of using the drones these are some of the details of our project i won't be going into much detail but we are uh, actually replicating some of the models available on the shelf and we are trying to get their specification built up in our uh, uh, our model and we are also uh, considering some of the off the shelf available drones for providing services uh, to the uh, farmers so it normally it uses a flight controller uh, which has got uh, an efficient agriculture management platform then a comprehensive spraying management platform it is one of the sort of 
software tools uh, which we are developing for some of the key features and definitely uh, of the off the shelf equipment uh, available for service for providing services to the farmer which mainly include the DJI Agress uh, drone which is a very uh, highly efficient drone uh, manufactured by DJI then for the surveys we are using DJI Phantom 4 Pros and for the DJI M100 uh, for other uh, application for planning the crops we are doing these like i mentioned that uh, through the mvdi technique these are some of the sensors where, through which we can actually get the imagery and uh, plan the, our missions efficiently for better crop uh, yield so uh, i bought make uh, these drones very uh, very a very good option what i feel that uh, they are one of the best uh, choice, to, you know, uh, since it is also my one of my passions to work on it. So I see a lot of market potential in Pakistan. So uh, based on the recent uh, market, uh, recent surveys, uh, what we have seen is that in total, as per the uh, food and agriculture organization, uh, Pakistan has got 23.1 million hectares of land agriculture where the farmers are actually doing the uh, the overall market by 50 percent of the area then based on the uh, best market, we require 6,000 of those drones annually in order to cover that area and that is a huge number when it comes to yeah can can you hear me yeah the voice keeps cutting in and out but that's fine uh, i mean the slides are really interesting to see anyway so please continue. Okay. Okay, okay. So uh, when we see the overall uh, drone market potential, uh, annually we require six thousand drones. This is uh, a rough estimate. It is some somewhere around like six thousand two hundred, but I have rounded it off. Uh, Two thousand thirty, we are going to actually. Uh, still, we are we will be lagging behind uh, fulfilling the requirement. So, I have mentioned also mentioned the basis of this calculation. So, um, and uh, based on that, what we have seen the market potential in in Pakistan is like 86 billion rupees per year, and uh, this is the number which is based on uh, the above uh, above uh, studies. And uh, uh, so we see a lot of uh, void right now since currently there are not a lot more people involved into this business. And uh, what I see is that uh, if, uh, even if we have got a very big number uh, or big, big workforce coming in, then we, uh, as Sherryar mentioned in his, uh, uh, in his uh, presentation, that we need a huge number. Yeah, just in the interest of time, maybe you bet I might have to cut you off here because it is already 9:45. So we've got right. a little bit of uh, uh, back and forth on yeah. the on. So we'll we'll uh, thank you so much for that presentation. Uh, I kindly request you to, um, yeah. I think uh, maybe whenever there is a better internet connection, we can will warrant a, a longer conversation on this because the, you've presented some very good things over here. But uh, I just want to give folks the time to ask uh, questions as well. And we're also facing some, uh, uh, if you could just quickly go through the slides. Uh, oh yeah, so interesting uh, work that has been done here on the cost yeah, uh, of the this model. Is, this is one of the, this is, yeah, this is one of the simulation uh, our, fin our business model uh, based on, on a single drone. Uh, that how much, even if we go like, if we go to the conservative, if we go to the conservative numbers, even then, it would it makes a very good break even in terms of the investment. So uh, and and I think uh, there are some bases. If somebody would like to discuss in detail, I can always I'm always available to have a discussion separately on it. But uh, based on a single drone, we can actually generate a revenue or profit profit of uh, uh, 
uh, about 4 million rupees roughly uh, using a D16 model which is a Chinese variant uh, of 16 liter capacity. So uh, we can actually generate 4 million rupees of revenue. If somebody wants to have uh, this investment in, in this loan, then it is a good return. So uh, yeah, uh, this I wanted to discuss in detail, but I think that there is some issue with the, with the internet and I'm- Yeah, there's some extensive, uh, I mean, uh, like the slides are really uh, lovely and I think you've covered some very good material here, but I think because of the internet connection, uh, it keeps yeah. coming in and going out. So uh, it's nine, uh, yes, yeah, so it's almost, uh, 6.46 in uh, local time. Yeah. Uh, oh. Okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much, Abed. Uh, uh, and we will just... So, thank you so much uh, for to all the presenters. There's uh, really kind of you to come out and talk on this topic. And I know one hour is very short for such a big topic, especially with four speakers. But uh, I'll open the platform uh, for everyone. Um, and then if they have any questions, they can ask that. I will, um, in the meantime, I'll keep an eye on the chat window. In the meantime, I have a question uh, for Raheep yourself. Uh, you talked about the forest inmate, which you uh, had worked upon. So, and you know how in the KPK right now, there's a lot of big projects that are going uh, for tree plantation. Do you think there is a use case there where uh, in order to measure the growth and progress of those trees, this could effectively be used there? Yes, so the idea here was also the same to estimate the the forest, how much yield is there, how can how is the growth and so on. And uh, as I said, the, what we did is the navigation of the drone autonomously. So we don't need any workforce to navigate from point A to point B, and the drone actually automatically navigates through the trees. And yes, uh, it is used for estimating it. So probably it would be useful there. Uh, and how big of an area did you practically implement it on? So the, the flight was for a 40 meter distance, but it can be extended. The, 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 the challenge was the battery power. <clears throat> so we, we didn't have so much of battery. So the only flight time could be 20 minutes. Oh, uh, but with a bigger drone, naturally we can, um, so if your drone has a better endurance, naturally we can go forward. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, I'll keep on asking my questions because there's not any other questions coming in in the chat. So I'll, uh, next question uh, for uh, Navid. Uh, you mentioned about, uh, you talked a lot about the project and uh, the lot of the things, but one question I did have was, uh, what are the challenges that you faced in importing the drones, if any? And what are the challenges you are facing right now in imparting the, the whole technology aspect to the students? Because you're also teaching this thing at the Arid University, right? You're on mute right now. So you're on mute. Right now. You're on mute right now. Yeah. Uh, well, yes. thank you very much. Um, just like Shahriyar has also mentioned that, of course, the, uh, because we have faced about one year for the drones to import in Pakistan, of course, there is still not any policy, especially for the uh, import um, of the UAV in Pakistan. Uh, because uh, initially the um, Ministry of Defense was dealing with this one, but after that they moved to the Ministry of Interior because the the, the UAV uh, have to be used uh, in the country. But um, uh, recently a Ministry of Science and Technology is took the step and then they um, um, made us some draft and also shared to the uh, other ministry for uh, policy but um, still not finalize anything. So, so I think it's really uh, the most important and the most uh, um, uh, uh, hindrance uh, in the expansion of the UAV use uh, uh, is the import policy. Of course, we know that the, 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 the use of UAV is, uh, is uh, we really need on a safer side. But I think um, recently, you know, many countries have applied this technology uh, very efficiently, uh, but the main work, uh, initially they have done the policy. So I think if they have, uh, if we develop a good policy, I think we can uh, do in a better way and we can use this technology in a, uh, in a safer hand. Uh, just like recently, uh, because uh, when we import one drone and we got a legal license uh, from the Ministry of Defense and from also Interior. So um, until my knowledge, maybe we have only one uh, a drone uh, that has actually uh, 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 came through all the custom process uh, with legally. But uh, right now, all the 
people that are importing drone uh, illegal way maybe ha have no uh, because they import by a third party and most of times they have no any certification because no policy right now for import but the drone are coming in pakistan okay so thank uh, you uh, thank, thank you thank you and uh, shares have a question for you um, mm -hmm. uh, drones are being used in any form in pakistan especially at broi farms and for which applications and i know you are in collaboration for doing some things in the coming weeks so maybe you can talk about that uh we would be applying drones to the cotton field which is the right now cotton is there plus uh, there is some of sugarcane as well because sugarcane ki jo hai wo height zyada hoti hai cotton zameen se zyada mein zyada ek 4.5 5 foot uncha pauda hota hai theek hai ji so inshallah we are planning to have a demonstration with uh, with dronomics and uh, i have already spoken to agriculture extension department for this matter uh, so officials will be there for, uh, will be there uh, will be coming from there uh, and around 15 to 20 agriculture is from the from my area which is the, in the suburbs of nawabsha they will be dropping by as well and uh, we are going to do a demonstration with uh, dronomics and uh, obad will uh, Uh, we will brief them about his product and all and uh, that's it so cotton that's... and sugar right now okay yeah. okay got it zaid i hope that answered uh, your question so there's another question that has come i have a question what sort of technique did really i made used for navigating without gps so that's a question for you rahib it was uh, vision based so we used cameras two cameras that uh, were used and the image was taken and then the image is then transformed into point cloud so point cloud gives us the depth of the image that is coming up so we can identify what is the depth or width of of the next image and then you process the that image using um, so the onboard processing and computation units and so basically anything Yeah, and I, and I'm sure there's a lot of uh, technical theory behind that, and of course, yeah, there, was so correct. there are a couple of papers I can I can tell. <laughs> yeah, uh, so for sure, it. and we can route them. Uh, before any other question comes up, I just want to give a small another update regarding the usage of drones. There are, um, I know certain agriculturalists uh, who have been using that. There is one other gentleman who was supposed to be on this call, uh, he was not able to join. Khalid Shamsher, he has a farm out in uh, Southern Punjab. and they use drones uh, for spraying as well there is another uh, mukhtar farms um, i think that's also yeah. in southern punjab they are also using drones uh, so a couple of two or three people other than uh, shehar sahab of course i know who are actually effectively using this so there is a lot of potential for sure and there are a lot of progressive farmers out there who are willing to adopt these things and of course uh, like i mentioned Uh, with the kpk uh, government there is a big major reforestation project as well on the go so uh, that is also where drones are being effectively used anyway it is uh, almost top of the hour uh, yeah yeah but he is asking if there can, are any more uh, papers that can be shared i i can uh, work with you work offline uh, fazi if you can just message me and i'll i'll write, route you through to rahib so if there are no other questions uh, from the folks on the call i will give it uh, one minute uh, otherwise i'll thank the speakers and um, and i know it's very hard to, to do like a 5 8 minute presentation with there's so much material and you have to go and quickly present but this is only meant to be the tip of the iceberg kind of uh, conversation we can take up one of the topics uh, for each one of you and then make a deeper dive but this was just to get ourselves started and for anybody who wants to have a good lay of the land uh, of the problems associated with uh, drones in agriculture in pakistan especially this could uh, serve as that platform so once again um, thank you so much for taking the time out uh, all of you uh, i don't think there are any further questions uh, any closing comments i'll, uh, or I'll just do a, uh, there is a, oh, we, we just uh, left the way i would have asked him to share his thoughts um, Bro, is there any uh, viewers have anything else from your side? Any closing comments? Uh, sir, I would say that um, it is a it was a very good session. मतलब अगर ये technical difficulties नहीं आने तो राइप साहब से एक बहुत ही एक अच्छी insights मिल गई मुझे अपना because I'm an engineer as well. My first degree is engineering. So Navid साहब, doctor साहब की और राइप साहब की जो बातें सुनकर जो है ना वो एक अपने अंदर का engineer जो है ना वो बातें करना start कर दिया एक अच्छी जो है वो एक एक knowledge जो है ना वो Gather key and definitely I would like to have the decks uh, prepared by Rahim and Navid 
so that I can go through them, go through those documents and, you know. Uh, That'll be good. Yeah. Makes sense. So Makes sense. For sure. For sure. For sure. Raheem, any uh, closing comments from your side? No, I just want to say just that the, the drones and um, can be used as uh, as autonomously, and then the new technology that is coming is the swarming of drones, and this is uh, what is coming up, and I think things will get better. Absolutely, absolutely. And uh, Navid, anything from your side? Closing comments. Um, thank you very much. I will say that the city or sub, of course, is our end user, and basically, the all the technology is. Uh, for the former community. So from my side, um, from open heart, uh, we are ready to serve and demonstrate if you like at your farm, because we have already done good work and especially on supporting technologies, we have very good uh, established relation with the international forum. So we have very good re research already. So uh, yeah. if you need any kind of support and we are ready, Sport and uh, and of course your colleague maybe have also maybe you have a, a big circle of the farmer so and we are ready to serve you okay. ज़्यादा बड़ा जो बिल्कुल थैंक यू सो मच फॉर शेयरिंग दैट और ज़्यादा बड़ा जो ऑब्जेक्टिव है इस वक्त सारी एक्सरसाइज का वो यही है कि हम लोग टेक्नोलॉजी एक साइलो में डेवलप होती है फार्मर एक साइलो में रहता है वो जो गैप है वो ब्रिज नहीं होता प्रोग्रेसिव फार्मर जैसे शेरार साहब है हमारे एक और बड़े अच्छे दोस्त हैं आमिर भंडारा साहब आप उन्हें जानते ही है और दो चार और लोग हैं वो बहुत अच्छे प्रोग्रेसिव फार्मर है उनको ऑन बोर्ड करके इस चीज को मेरे ख्याल आगे लेके चलने की जरूरत है उमर फारूक साहब आपने एकेडेमिया की सपोर्ट के वाले से बात की वो मेरे ख्याल है एकेडेमिया को थोड़ा सा एक मेरे ख्याल यूनिवर्सिटियों से निकल के फील्ड में जाने की जरूरत है और वहां पे जाके देखने की जरूरत है कि कि जैसे आप आप शराब साहब आपने जो बात की ना बड़ी मुझे तो मैंने कभी सोची नहीं को पत्थर मार दे ड्रोन को मतलब <laughs> तो, आप सोच तो तो को क्या टेक्नोलॉजी हल करेगी को पत्थर ही गिरा दिया पकड़ के एग्जैक्टली exactly. हाँ so anyway thank you so much uh, for all uh, uh, your input mein inshallah is video ki recording jo hai wo share kar denge taki agar kisi aur logon ne dekhni ho to bahut shukriya aap sab ka bahut shukriya thank you so much assalam alaikum thank you